What's up everybody? This is Aircrete Harry and this is part three on how to make aircrete. So in part two we left off with making a batch of aircrete out of a uh, Drexel foaming agent. And I took that uh, aircrete and poured it into two molds that I made out of foam. Um, I don't want to make aircrete and pour it into one of my molds because I know how much it sucks the way we're going to make it next. So we're going to be using Dawn Disc Detergent. I have some in this container and um, I'm going to rinse out my uh, foam generator with some fresh water and uh, we'll put that hose into here and we're going to mix up a slurry of cement and add Dawn as a foaming agent mix that foam into that slurry and then we're just going to pour it into here and put it next to the others so we can see if there's any collapsing. So that's right now. Okay, so we have fresh water coming out. So I'll take this out of the fresh water bucket and we're gonna put this into our Dawn. Now we're gonna mix up our slurry. Again, water first. And we try and add the cement as we're mixing. And by adding it slowly, you avoid dry clumps of Portland cement that build up, and sometimes it's difficult to mix well. Okay, so our slurry's mixed up. Now we're going to add our foam and we're going to add the same 2.1 gallons of foam uh, but this time we're making the foam out of our Dawn detergent. Okay, if you saw what I was doing there, I was going back and forth, side to side, and all the way around. Because again, you don't want any cement clumps at the bottom. And feel around with whatever tool you're using. Pull it up. If you see anything dry, you gotta like scrape that area and keep mixing. And also you want a uniform color. Okay, so that's our aircrete made from Dawn dish detergent. So I'm going to pour that into this green container here. And then we'll put it over next to those samples over there. to the Dollar Tree store and bought a whole bunch of these for a dollar. Whoa! Oh great, not in my foam solution.
Okay, so this is our Aircrete. This was the first batch I made using Drexel foaming agent. See how that looks. And this is the batch I just made using Dawn disc detergent. Let me get really up close. Okay, this is the first batch. Just made it maybe, I don't know, 10 minutes ago. You see how you don't see a lot of bubbles popping, a lot of collapsing happening? So this was the batch of standard Aircrete made using Drexel. This is Aircrete made using Dawn dish detergent. Trying to hold this still. Okay. So here was the first thing I poured in episode one of how to make aircrete. So I made a bucket of foam using Dawn dish dish detergent dish soap. Dawn dish soap dish soap. Hello, <clears throat> this is the bucket I made using Dawn dish soap, and this is the bucket I made using. Drexel foaming agent. You can see how much the Dawn has collapsed already opposed to the Drexel. Okay, so this is freshly made aircrete. We'll see if there's much collapsing with the Dawn versus the Drexel. Remember, this one wasn't full to the top, so we know where that is. You know what this one is. Okay. So anyway, that's how you make Aircrete using Dawn and Drexel foaming agent. That's it for now. Peace out. Come back for episode number four on how to make Aircrete where I talk about different strength Aircrete. And the, what you have to do to get different strengths from just adding the foam to your cement slurry. That's it for now. Peace out.